Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Destiny, and it's Friday again, that time of the day. Let's go and find Zer, see what he's got for us this week in the exotics department. Uh, I'm guessing, given, unless he's at the, oh no, he's at the kiosk, isn't he? Is he there? Not here. Is he here? No, I've just run past him. No. Oh, where was he last week? He was in the hangar, wasn't he? I don't think he'll be there again, but we'll go and have a look. This is where he's in the reef, and it's a pain in the ass. Just have to go and find him over there. But uh, this week we should have something interesting. So the last couple of weeks we've pretty much been able to guess what he's been uh, delivering, um, given what Bungie have tweeted and said and bits and pieces. This is the first week we have no clue at all what he's going to have other than the obvious, so he's going to have a legacy engram he's going to have um, three exotic pieces and then uh, another engram of sorts, he's going to have three of coins he's going to have um, synthesis and all his usual Kuros stuff, but other than that we don't know, we don't know what the exotics are going to be, we don't know if they're going to be year two exotics um, that have been like remastered year one exotics, hopefully they're going to be like the brand new exotics. Um, hopefully they'll be the brand new ones. And then I don't have to spend massive amounts of strange coins on engrams and things down the line. Just a one-off payment. Ah, there he is. Over there in the corner. on over. Right, let's see what he's got for us. The nine wish to yeah. speak to you. Interesting. Okay, so usual Kuros and such. I'm going to grab myself uh, a couple of three of coins when I can and some heavy ammo synthesis. So, from what I can see there, I, with the Legacy Engram is a heavy weapon. So if you're still playing year one, haven't got your G horn yet, that's your best bet. Um, that, yeah, that is your best bet for getting it. Go for that one. Year two pieces. The Titan piece is the Immolation Fists. Uh, don't let this sacrifice be in vain. Intellect and strength on the spec. Grants explosive pyre. What's well, so that instantly tells you that it's spec for Sunbreakers. Increases melee attack speed and increases the reload speed with hand cannons. Let's have a look at these. Oh, okay. Is there, are they grenades or something? That looks quite interesting. So, what's that? The accelerant. Unlocks the Sunbreaker subclass node explosive pyre for free. Enemies brought down by your hammer explode, chaining fiery solar damage to other enemies. Now, that is interesting because I like having that on normally but if we if we have a look at at this here I should probably have that on now uh, that one idiot forge master sunshine scorched uh, there it is explosive pyre um, normally I would have that on um, but the minute I've got flame seeker but now I can have explosive pyre and flame seeker on at the same time which is going to be really helpful so that's nice actually that is quite an interesting an interesting perk to have the other two perks are a bit meh they're not they're not amazing but uh, I'm guessing that's more of a PvP piece as well so you can track your enemies and if there's a group it'll change them all so mm, it could I suppose it could work in PvE as well but not it might not be one that you would use as your exotic uh, it would have to be personal preference. But I'll be honest, I can I would see the Tychonaut being a lot more useful um, than the emanation, uh, immolation fists. So is it immolation? Immolation fists, yeah. So it's up to you. If you don't have the Tychonaut yet, then I would go with those for some breakers. Um, if you do, then no, it's personal preference. Hunter piece this week is the Celestial Nighthawk. Now we all know about this. Um, we all know what the, what the Nighthawk does, uh, and it is worth getting hold of. Basically, if you haven't got it already, 
definitely worth getting hold of because if you're trying to do DPS on a boss, generally one shot of golden gun that does six times the damage as opposed to three shots of golden gun or four shots of golden gun that do normal damage yeah you can see my point as a minimum on minimum golden gun you're doing twice the damage uh, per supercharge that you would be and you're doing an extra third of the damage if you have four shots but you're not going to have four shots because that comes on the on the helmet anyway so you double doubling your damage essentially by wearing that for DPS purposes so if you're a gunslinger and you're gonna put uh, put DPS down on the boss that is the the uh, exotic for you um, not the other bonuses on it gain bonus super energy from grenade kills useful bonus grenade energy on orb pickup so it's very much geared around getting you that supercharge so you can put deep so you can put damage down um, intellect as well is spec on there which is what you would probably take so very much geared for DPS roll uh, the warlock piece this week moving on heart of the praxic fire when radiance is active increases agility and decreases ability cooldowns so um, basically makes you jump around faster and more nimbly and increases the speed you get your grenade and melee abilities back. Um, intellect and discipline, spec on there. Uh, increase the amount of scout rifle ammo you can carry, increase it and reduces incoming void burn damage. Useful ish, I would say. One of them you should probably get hold of, but not. it's not essential. Uh, helmet engram is the exotic engram this week. I'm going to get one of these and just try my luck to get the uh, bellicose again uh, because that I haven't got that yet uh, I need to get the immolation fists there we go okay right let's go and open let's go and open this engram see what we get and then we'll be done for this video Yeah, so I'm hoping for the uh, the Bellicose helmet because I had to dismantle it mainly because it was uh, under armoured um, for what well, it wasn't 290 it was at 280 and I needed um, I needed the uh, I needed another helmet upgrading so I went for that and dismantled that instead for that one doesn't give me anything this one gives me ooh Gravitron Graviton forfeit. I'll take that to be honest. The Warlock helmet. Um, is it Warlock? Oh, Hunter helmet. Sorry, and it gives you sh shade step, which is the dodging that the the roll dodge that you can get if you double tap circle or B if you're on Xbox and then dive in a different direction. Uh, it's a shame we can't look at them, but uh, let's have a look at that while we're here. Increase intellect and strength, and we've got hands on. Getting bonus super energy from melee kills, bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills, and then that one battery already. Shield start recovery immediately after orb pickup. Mm. Not too bad. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like rating. Uh, we're always happy to hear comments down below. If you are new around here, hit the subscribe button. Show, uh, show us your support and help us grow as a channel. Share the video as well on wherever you see fit. Uh, let people know where Zer is, what he's got, and uh, how they can use it. Uh, stay tuned for more Destiny content over the next few weeks, months, and however long. And uh, once again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.